you, Mr. Speaker. The failure of President Trump and the Republican-controlled Congress to do their work on time and in good faith has serious consequences for our country and for our national security. The Republican approach of governing by short-term continuing resolution deprives our military of long-term budget certainty that they need to keep our country safe. President Trump's Secretary of Defense has warned of severe harm operating under continuing resolutions and the harm that it's done to our military readiness. Mr. Speaker, it is time for the President and for Republicans to end this chaos and to work with us on a long-term budget deal that reopens our government, adequately funds our military, and upholds our commitments here at home. Sadly, the government shutdown that began at midnight means that hundreds of thousands of government employees who serve in critical roles keeping us safe will now be forced to work without pay. And we all thank them for their service. As the President himself has acknowledged, the Republican-inflicted shutdown means that our active military will not get paid, causing serious repercussions for their families. I grew up in a military family. And I understand the sacrifices our service members and their families make. And I know all of us, as Democrats and Republicans, agree it's just plain wrong to ask our service women and men in uniform to put their lives on the line without pay. And that's why we've introduced the Pay Our Military Act of 2018. This bill provides for both pay and death uh, benefits for our service men and women during this government shutdown. It includes pay and support for the Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, and the Coast Guard. This bill ensures that our military is able to perform their duties during any shutdown this fiscal year without worrying about the financial security of their families. Should one of our service men or women take and make the ultimate sacrifice, this bill ensures that their family will be taken care of by our country and that is the least we can do. There is a strong precedent for this bill. This House passed similar legislation unanimously, unanimously during the last government shutdown in 2013. And this morning, President Trump tweeted that our country needs to do even better by our military. The Pay Our Military Act fulfills this mission. I urge a no vote on the previous question so we can bring up this bill and pay our troops. Mr. Speaker, I yield back.